Good morning. My name is Burke Hall. I'm a former soldier and uh, defended this nation and this country. I had a responsibility to every single one of you sitting up here to protect and defend your liberty and your right to live free. That was my job. You guys have a job too. And your job is to protect us from liberty and tyranny when it comes to the courts. The only difference between us and Mexico is the rule of law, the Constitution. Um, I want to direct my comments to Ross Miller, who looks like he couldn't even be freaking bothered to Excuse be here. Excuse me, sir, if you could just um, oh, I have something to say. Don't to worry the whole about board, it. that oh, would be great. Believe you, I am commenting to the board. Ross okay. looks like he's a little busy. Excuse me, sir. Um, it sir. is, sir. Thank you. I'm glad you're listening. Go ahead. Go ahead, sir. Um, this is a letter that I read to that I wrote to Judge uh, Sandra Pomerantz when she was on my court case. Um, my sons. I have three sons. My oldest son's name is Storm. Named him after one of my sergeants that bled out saving my life. My middle son, his name is Honor. My youngest son, his name was Israel. Mom has PTSD and some other mental issues. She killed our two-year-old son in front of our four and six-year-old boys. The easiest part of this was Israel's death. After Israel's death, then what happened was they were placed in DFS custody. When they were placed in DFS custody, they were raped by the two homosexual men they were placed with to teach me a lesson because I'm a black conservative. Um, just to let you know, mom is now married to a 19 time plus felon that's responsible for the death of three of his children. I do have something on my record that's pretty awful. Um, and I admit it wholeheartedly. Department of Family Services put on my record that I'm an unfit father because I'm very religious and, des and describe myself as a Tea Party conservative. They put this in writing. You guys have the responsibility, from what I understand, I was ripping the mayor about this. The truth of the matter is, this council right here is responsible for the stupidity going on in the family court. I just got an order not too long ago from a case that I wasn't even in. I wasn't involved in it. I am not a party to it. Judge Harder actually made a ruling against me. And I wasn't even there to defend myself. Now. The reason I'm bringing this up to you is because one of the few things you can sue a judge for, a sitting judge, is for doing something without jurisdiction. I don't think this, this city likes throwing away money. I think that's kind of ignorant. But I'm going to read part of the letter that I wrote to Judge Pomerantz, because this goes for all the judges that are doing wrong things, and you all know who they are. Don't act like you don't. Um, this is a uh, Judge Pomerantz's response to judicial counsel. It has been long and hard for me to form a response from what I have received from you in your court and from your very lips. And I form it in genuine fear of what you will do to me and my very sons when you receive this. I have no illusions concerning the power you hold and what you will have planned for me and everything I hold most dear when you obtain it. However, I exercise my first amendment right to speak genuinely I genuinely doubt it will stop your vengeance against me in this, my response. I genuinely know what tyranny feels like, for I have seen it all around the world, as have many U.S. soldiers, and in you it is personified. You may think that you are almighty, but I am here to inform you that you are not. One day, maybe in the distant future, my son Storm and Honor will know what it means to stand against the very face of evil in defense of justice and the vulnerable innocent. It is for this in part that I write this epistle against you. That's how it starts. I'll leave you a copy. Um, I want to talk a little bit about a judge named Judge Harder. Judge Harder, and I'm quoting him, I am God. This is what he said in his, in, in his courtroom to a litigant who took away her kids and gave her child to a babysitter the babysitter claiming that she was the father of the, she was the father to the child. Um, this is, this kind of stuff has got to stop. And you guys here 
are the ones responsible for dealing with this nine pounds of stupid. I don't understand what is stopping you guys from stepping up and in defense of these children. Forget me. My son tried to kill himself at school. He's nine years old with a permanent FBI file now. Tried to kill himself at school because he found out mom got full legal custody and physical custody. This has got to stop. Um, one more thing, if you would just indulge me for just one more minute. I've served my I'll, country. I'll give you another 15 seconds, sir, but the clock That's actually fine, stopped, so you got some... Rena Hughes is now working. She, you guys got her out of the swamp. She's now working for Jennifer Abrams. Harder snubs his nose at the Supreme Court, and, and nobody says anything about it. And then we have other people doing crazy things like masturbating in front of 14-year-old girls and become judges. I, I don't understand this, and I'm asking you, begging you, as a U.S. soldier who's defended you for your defense. Thank you. Thank you.